think it struck a special chord in everybody's heart because today was a day that we actually celebrated our immigrants and our refugees and our migrants and people on the move. So it's the day that the church celebrates and honor, honors what really lies at the very core of the identity of the church, that is its universality, its Catholicity. So it's a wonderful day for, for the church and for all the people that are here with great joy. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord. Gathering for the immigrants, migrants, and refugees is very important because this is the meaning of love. Well, tell me what you thought about everyone celebrating immigrants from all over the world. Oh, it's amazing. I, I'm so proud, you know, to be here and all the people from different places, you know. Um, I'm just so glad, you know, they uh, participate in this. I am from Nicaragua, so I know how it feel, you know, being an immigrant. And I don't know how they even think about doing deportation to all these people that they have family and kids. It's like, hopefully, this is stopped. I'm happy to see a lot of people from a different community. So I'm proud to be here too. To, this is my first day to come in this church. I'm happy to see how they decorate the everywhere. I'm so happy to see it. Well, tell me what this means to every immigrant here. I think a celebration like this is absolutely wonderful. What the bishop talked about, I felt so deeply that um, here we have no borders, we have no boundaries, and, um, and so we're one people. And I think today was a celebration of that. No matter where we've come from, what language we speak, no matter what our background, when we come together like this, we are one people. And you could feel the excitement of the people who were there in the church at that reality. To, to listen to different languages, to see the cultural expressions of joy and faith, I think that is so exciting. This is what it's all about. What do you think the Pope's message is on um, immigrants and immigration? I think it's one of embrace. It's one of, uh, of well, to use his words of building bridges, right? And not walls, and, and to one of embrace, one of welcoming, uh, which lies you know, really at the heart of the Christian, right? Hospitality, uh, an openness to, to God's people. Because as, as he said in his, his reflections, when we encounter the immigrant and the refugee in a particular way, who have been in, in displaced from their home and from their country, uh, we encounter Christ. So for, for us Christians, it's not just encountering a people, but it's encountering the Christ that lives in the hearts of those people.